The chapel is approximately 10,000 square feet in size. Uh, that's including the offices on the second floor. And then the seating capacity of the main sanctuary is approximately 810. Uh, that's including the choir loft. It is one of the biggest built from the ground up outside of the Philippines. Here we're able to do something completely on our own from the ground up. And so we're able to do the, uh, the same style of architecture that we have in the Philippines. Brother Raymond Frank recognizes that this is a great blessing for him to be a part of the building of houses of worship here in the United States. The chapels are, are extremely important to the lives of the members of the church. Um, this is where we come to, to worship God, um, to pray to God. Uh, so this is really the center of our lives um, as members of the church. To be of help in the construction of this holy worship building in the local congregation of Ebbett Beach, Ecclesiastical District of Hawaii Pacific gives him joy even more. This magnificent and holy edifice is built just a few blocks away from the historic site where the first worship service of members of the Iglesia Ni Cristo was held outside the Philippines. Construction officially started in November 2017, uh, but that was primarily a grading and earthwork. So the actual building of the chapel and the function hall was done, was started in approximately January. So it's been about six months um, for, for the construction of both buildings, uh, which is a, a very fast time frame for such large structures um, within that time frame, especially here in Honolulu. Carrying out this endeavor wasn't easy. Various challenges came along the way. The main challenges here in Hawaii were the, the permitting process that they have, and also the challenge in getting materials here to the island. Honolulu is an island and we have to get a lot of materials from the mainland. So the shipping time and those kind of things and the um, availability here on the island was a challenge. Despite the very difficult situation, they were not discouraged because they relied on the power of God who can make all things possible for them. We prayed daily. Even from the start of the project, we were always confident that we could make the, uh, the deadline. We knew that we couldn't do it on our own. We always uh, were able to uh, count on God's guidance to, to be with us and we knew that his work uh, would never be hindered. And on this historic day of the 50th anniversary of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, this magnificent and holy house of worship was dedicated to the Lord God, along with the ordination of 50 ministers, administered and led by the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. To be ordained as a minister inside the Church of Christ is uh, it's an indescribable feeling, but I feel so blessed uh, to be counted among those who were called inside the ministry. All of the praise, all the glory belongs to our Almighty God. It's always uh, great that we're able to um, have a newly dedicated and constructed house of worship where the brethren can go. And um, you know, especially something like this, which is so, so big and beautiful, uh, it's really uh, a blessing from God. To have a church this big and um, you know something so beautiful as well, to be able to celebrate it on the 50th anniversary is a very special thing. It is very humbling um, to, to be a, a help to the church administration in doing such a great work. As we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the church in the West, it's uh, such, so great that I'm able to be a help to God and um, bringing this historic and momentous project to its completion.